Hello you beautiful legends and welcome to a big milestone which is episode 400 yes 400 episodes which means 400 days of this project since September 19 2022 for the new players that come to the game, uh, new watchers, new readers, I'm not sure if you're watching me or listening and did you come straight from YouTube or Spotify or Apple or maybe you just opened the uh, embedded um, episode in the blog post so you were reading my blog. This project consists of two things, uh, as I mentioned already. Every single day, without skipping any days, I write the blog post and I record the video episode of a podcast. This video episode of a podcast is embedded in that blog post, but separately it's uploaded to YouTube in a video format, obviously, and also it's uploaded to Spotify as a video because Spotify uh, has option for video podcasts is available on Spotify in both versions in video and audio or in audio only and then Spotify basically serves as a as a host of that episode and publishes that further into Apple podcast Google podcast etc so you can find me on any platform if you're into more of an audio podcast and you're listening on I don't know maybe Stitcher or I think Stitcher is going away so maybe Overcast or any other platform you should be able to find me there so this project really consists of those two main elements and they combined are basically my journal and daily musing, if you wish, where I try to share my thoughts, my opinion, some tips and tricks in different areas, maybe, or my own experience about things that others might benefit from, as well as just simple dull updates of what happens in my life every single day. So, as you might know, or kind of deducted from that, it's not always a very exciting uh, content. I try to make it at least a bit silly or funny sometimes just to make sure that it's not too boring. But as you know, everyday life is far from super exciting. You have great days where something big happens. Like today, day 400, albeit I was hoping to celebrate it a bit more than what it actually is at the moment. So the first half of the day was mostly focused on work and a couple of other things. And now I'm going to pick up Julian from school. And later on, I don't have a big or great perspective on the rest of the day because it's my turn to make some dinner maybe I'll be able to you know jump out before sunset and maybe check some new place or whatever but to be honest it's a little bit disappointing that I'm unable to properly celebrate this 400th day on the other side, you know, it's 400 days and the main thing is that I maintained that streak and that core routine which is writing and blogging for such a long time. On reflection, I will be writing a lot more in the blog post. I hope I have enough time to create a more insightful blog post uh, for you guys but 
I would say that from the perspective of this day of 400, which closes basically season two of, of the podcast, is that I won't be a, a Columbus here and I won't, you know, discover America that it was full of, uh, of ups and downs. If you have troubles in building any habits or maintaining them for longer than, I don't know, one or two months, then I definitely feel the, the struggle because I was and I am the same. I was able to maintain this one for 400 days, but it doesn't mean that it changed my life completely and now I'm good at keeping or maintaining habits. Not really. But this one is a very important foundation for me and not only to keep myself accountable, but keep consistently proving to myself that I am capable of doing something for a longer period of time. And it didn't happen with slippage, I would say, or mistakes. Despite the fact that I was able to keep up 400 days with this one, it's... There were, there were victims of that process. And by victims, I mean... Some of you that already read me or listen to me a bit longer or just been here a couple of times, you know that I have something that I call um, satellite habits. And my satellite habits are things that I do every single day as well. And they are more for myself to be a bit sharper in certain areas. For all three satellite habits that I use, I combine them with the handy applications. So first and the most important habit from the satellite perspective, that is actually predating the, this project, is Duolingo. And people have different opinions about Duolingo. Uh, some people think that it's a waste of time. Some people think that it's a great tool. And as you might already guess, it's the, the truth is in the middle. It's a great app if you use it properly and consistently. Honestly, I was using it for a couple of languages along the way, but mostly for Spanish language. And while it didn't make me a fluent speaker or anyone well-versed in Spanish, I am able to understand a lot of Spanish now. I am able to form some basic communications in Spanish. And... I understand a bit of structure of how Spanish is Spanish sentences are built as well as similarities and differences between both English language and Polish language and Spanish because they have many similarities despite being completely different languages obviously English has a lot of um, pieces in common with Spanish in terms of words especially a lot of words that are used in English are also used in Spanish in, to some extent. And it's not only that they were taken from Spanish or they were taken from English to the Spanish. It's, it's quite different. They, they are being used because they were formed as a natural consequence in both languages. They just differ slightly in how you pronounce or how you write them. But they have a lot of commonalities and... Just because of that, you can probably 
learn immediately if you know english you can learn immediately probably about 1500 or something well at least over a hundred or a thousand words that you already know in english are in spanish in just a slightly different format you need to add suffix or some prefix whatever and you know the words because they not only sound the same but also are written very similarly and they have the same meaning so spanish in duolingo is a great journey it's over two years i'm at uh, day 800 something but it wasn't without pain uh, it happened to me to slip one day and not a full day it, i just mean that i didn't do the lesson within particular 24 hours so well that was one day really but yeah, I, I just did like a lesson after midnight or something like that. And it didn't count as a part of the streak. But fortunately in the app, you have sort of cheat element or help for those occasions where you can have streak freeze feature. And this helps you to preserve the streak from resetting to zero. So technically, I would be probably, I don't know, on what streak if that would reset, but it didn't. It probably happened maybe two or three times in the whole journey of 868 days, I believe, or something like that, or 858. So it is quite a long journey. I wouldn't like to lose it. Not because it's just a, it's a streak and some people might treat streaks as something like an achievement or something. Not really, but it is slightly motivating to have that streak in front of you because you, you approach daily lesson with more motivation when you see that you have a prolonged streak rather than if you would reset and get demotivated again. The second satellite habit is about programming and coding. And for this, I use MIMO app, M-I-M-O. You can search it up. I think it's available for both Android and iOS. It's a very handy thing. They have very, very similar to Duolingo approach to gamified le learning. And they have different languages, coding languages like the python javascript or things like that and also they have web development path which has many different areas combined into handy steps and proper structure to learn a little bit of every part of the stack within the web development so this i think i'm on the streak 200 86 or something so almost approaching 300 days and here i think there is also streak a preserve kind of option where you can that you can buy for in app currency and i think i used it once or twice but in general i keep doing that every day and then the last is Elevate. Elevate is more like a brain training app. It has different uh, game games related usually to maths, memory, and a little bit of language and punctuation and things like that. So it's quite versatile. And I forgot that it's three o'clock. So I'll stop now and I'll continue in a second. I need to pick Julian now. So let me just add a couple of minutes. Here is Crozant Gamer, my lovely son Julian. How are you, Julian, today? Good. Good. Yes. He's very excited because he's waiting to see his new shoes that arrived just this morning. So we are going to be very quick. Uh, I just had to stop because I forgot that it's almost three o'clock and I needed to run to pick you up. So. 
Uh, yeah, I was just finishing about the third up, which is Elevate, that's brain training, kind of. Obviously, there is no big science behind it Maybe to prove. Day, yeah. day 400? Yes, this is day 400. Yeah. He knows! So that that's something that motivates me as well, that he's he's kind of tracking it as well from time to time. So he's he's motivating me to, to go, to keep going. So Elevate itself... Uh, it just recently reset and there is no save in terms of, uh, you know, the streak. streak. Yeah, so it always goes to zero. So it's a little bit demotivating, but I keep going because it keeps me sharp and I just like it. So these are three satellite habits. This is day 400. I will be adding another segment probably to this video later on. But I wanted to show you my beautiful son and uh, I guess... Before I stop recording, I just want to tell you that in the next segment that I will add, add probably in an hour or so, I might tell you a little bit about Morocco because I checked a couple of materials today. The sad thing that I need to tell you and my son is that there's no point for us buying the drone at the moment because Morocco has a complete ban for drones. Oh. So if you if you happen to have drone in your luggage, they will confiscate it and you will never see it again. Good that I checked because I saw the YouTuber that was in Morocco and he said what not to do in Morocco or kind of to be aware of some cultural differences and what to just be aware of to, to, to have greater holidays. And one of them was forget about the drone because it will be confiscated. And I checked later that in Google and it seems like it's one of 20 countries around the world that are banning to some extent drone operations. All right, so this is it for now. It's not yet it for the day. Stay tuned. I will be back in a couple of seconds, but in reality, it will take about an hour or so. See ya. And here we are. This is just a short drop. Just to update you, it's, as you can see, it's, the sun is setting, so uh, I didn't manage to do much since picking up Julian. Uh, I did a couple of things, work-related and home-related, I'd say. This day, I think I had too much of expectations that it will be super special, but... It is, in fact, special. It's 400 days. I still keep that in my head. So what I'm gonna do now is pick up some groceries, prepare the dinner, and get back to writing the blog post. I'll make sure that I write a nice summary of those 400 days so far. And I have one Easter egg Hopefully, I just need to stitch it together. So, most of you don't know that I collected a couple of bloopers when I was recording those videos. So, I have a nice collection of probably 10, 15 bloopers. And I'll try to stitch them together into a nice compilation and hide it somewhere in the blog post. So if you're interested in watching them, then you'll have to find it. The clues I'll provide in somewhere in the, the last segment of this update. And the last segment will have a good couple of minutes, so don't try to skip stuff. It won't be obvious. And those that listen the whole episode obviously will be rewarded straight away because they will know when I say that. So it will be a small celebration kind of Easter egg gift. So you can see that I said a couple of explicit words along the way when I was starting the certain episodes and they didn't go as planned or let's say I started recording and suddenly radio popped up in the car or whatever 
and ruined the whole thing. So yeah, it it was funny to watch a couple of times with Julian, and Julian suggested that it it, it would be a, a good idea to compile them together. So let me get the groceries and make that dinner and get it off the way and record the rest of the episode. And welcome back, guys. It's 10.30 p.m., so quite late. A couple of unexpected things happened uh, in between when I was hoping to especially compile the bloopers that I mentioned before. I realized that there is actually about 30, 30 bloopers that I have on my spare hard drive altogether. So I need a, a bit more time to go through them, clip them properly and compile them together. So it won't be happening today. I'll drop it tomorrow. But this is the day for 100 and this podcast will have also the season number three because all previous episodes all previous 200 episodes are being closed as the season two is ending and season three is starting as you could see probably in in two or three episodes, uh, the latest ones I did, including this one, a multi-segment episodes, so not recorded in one go. I still don't edit per se, so there's no cutting of any you know, mistakes or anything like that in the middle. Even though there are segments, the segments are recorded in one go so I just stitch them together as a full episode and see how it goes nothing really interesting happened outside of what I already said to you guys I did fajitas today for dinner and they they came out good but it took a lot of time then we had a short session with Julian and Elizabeth and played a little bit of table tennis and then when I was about to sit down to write stuff and combine these segments and publish the the video podcast episode something happened and just to cut it short my wife was trying to go upstairs with too many things in her hand and she poked some glass bottle that was nearby and it fell down and it was actually quite strong glass because it only broke into two pieces but the thing inside was like a cream or serum type of thing that women like to use and she's very upset because she was waiting for this thing to come it just arrived like two days ago and there seemed to be like sort of ritual behind it just women like the fancy things and the, the whole way of putting it uh, taking it off the glass, etc. It's like, uh, you know, I guess it's it's the whole ritual thing and whole experience needs to be preserved. And unfortunately, we had to transfer whatever was left. Fortunately, we saved a lot of it, but it went into a spare, small kind of plastic bottle. So it won't be fancy anymore, but... I told her multiple times to not carry too much stuff upstairs and split it into two goes or ask someone to help her instead of packing hands with a lot of stuff that she can drop. And she dropped it before, she dropped it again. So that's the result of not 
I guess not learning. So that's it really for today. As you can see, I'm already dressed for pretty much bed. So I'll finish it up now, stitch it together, publish it, embed it into the blog post, write the blog post and get back to you tomorrow. Hopefully with the full compilation of bloopers. I might actually use it as a part of the episode. I don't know. We'll see. For the time being, thank you very much for being here and spending your time and listening to all those ramblings, especially for to those of you that are here for some time already and are with me for a couple of episodes or more. But obviously, anyone new is more than welcome to the family and this journal is for anyone and everyone. Have a great rest of the day, afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Stay tuned and see you tomorrow.